Hey everyone, so today's video is a long-awaited Ipsy Glam Bag Plus unboxing. So I actually just got this in the mail. Um, usually they send it to me a little bit earlier so that way I can get it up on the first for you guys, but I got mine a little bit later this month. I have no idea what's in the box. I have no idea what the products were this month because I haven't watched any videos yet. There's like a small selection of products and then they pull from those products to make your own customized box that like kind of gears towards your profile. I'm really excited to see what I got in my box this month. Comment down below what you guys got in your Glam Bag Plus box. And if you guys have any questions about what the Glam Bag Plus is, I will have a link down below for you guys so that you can go read all the facts and get all the answers to your questions there. That way this video isn't so repetitive to the past ones. But I'm really excited to see what I got this month. So let's just go ahead and open it up. So it just looks like the same box every single month that has the Don't Be Pretty Like Them, Be Pretty Like You. And then we have the card right here. So this says, Hey Ipster, your November Glam Bag Plus is here. I believe it has the products inside the book. So I'm gonna wait on that one. But oh my goodness. What is this? What? Okay. All right. I'm excited. First off, I had to grab this guy right here because this is super cute. This is the Tarte Double Duty Make Every Moment Count. Is it a cheek palette? It's a cheek palette. Oh my goodness. I've never seen this. I didn't even know this was out. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. That is gorgeous. These are like my go-to colors for blushes, especially Learn right here. I love for the winter time because it's a little bit more neutral. And then I love like this color for like the spring and the summertime just to bring some like, it's like a really pretty like flush to the cheeks. It's got like that ch choco, like that chocolate smell to it too. It smells good because I can like smell it right there. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I am so excited. I love Tarte blushes. This is that pinky one right here. It's called Love. That's it swatched on my hand. And then we have Learn. Oh yeah, Learn is beautiful. And then Live, which has a little bit of shimmer. The other two are matte. Live kind of reminds me a little bit of a toned down version of Orgasm from NARS. But those are beautiful blushes. Holy crap, I'm really excited about that. I actually wanna add one to my cheeks right now. Can I do that? Which one should we add? We should probably, should I? Which one? I think, you know what, I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, that is pretty. It's kind of more of a pigmented color of the one that I already had on. I had the Balm one on. I forgot which one it was called, but it was from the Balm. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Oh, I love that. Okay, awesome. Perfect right there. Let's read what the card says. So this one retails for $32. That is awesome. This is already a win for me. Like honestly, just this product right here is making it worth it for me. Like it's already giving it a thumbs up for me because I am super stoked about that palette. All right, let's go to the next one. I have to grab Ofra Cosmetics here. So we have the Ofra Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. This this is a gorgeous highlighter, you guys. This one is beautiful. They are so pigmented. I love, was it Rodeo Drive? And then the other one that I really like, it's like a lighter color. What was it called? Is it Blissful? I can't remember, but it's a lighter champagne color and it's really pretty. But here is Rodeo Drive. It's like a light golden champagne. Super, super stunning on the cheeks. I actually like this one when I have a little bit more of a tan versus when I'm like really fair, but it is beautiful. So I really, really love that. I love Over Cosmetic products. The Over Highlighter retails for $35 right there. That's awesome. And then next up, we have a little trio from SL Miss Glam. And I absolutely love Stephanie who owns SL Miss Glam. She's the sweetest, you guys. You guys better go check her out. She just had twins. We're both like constantly like DMing each other, talking about like what we're experiencing with our babies. She is doing such an amazing job with her twins and they are so adorable. So definitely go check her out. But I love her brush collection. So she put in a little trio in here. So we get like a few different eyeshadow brushes right here. So let me show you. So the first one is the P15, which is a great all over shadow brush. Absolutely beautiful. And then we have the eye angled shading P17 right here, which is great for the crease. You can see how it goes up, it has an angle to it. 
And then this one is a great diffuser. This is an eye blending P24 brush right here. This one's really good for diffusing that eyeshadow right up here. Like when you put in the crease and you realize the ends of it might be a little harsh, it's great to go in with this one and kind of diffuse that color. So that's why I really like that one for. But great brushes, awesome. The value of these are $45. Wow, okay, sweet. All right, so next up, we have a Makeup Geek product. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see Makeup Geek in here. Like, I feel like they just totally kind of, like they were huge in the beginning a couple of years ago. I remember everything was like Makeup Geek. And then they kind of died off, so I'm really excited to see them in here. This is a lip gloss from them. I've never tried a lip gloss. This is the shade Set List. Ooh, okay, look at this. So this is what the packaging looks like right here. Oh, it's a metallic. So here's the metallic shade right here. This one's really pretty. The only bad thing about this is that I know some people like metallics and I know some people don't like metallics. I have to say, honestly, I like more of a matte shade versus a like a foil, like a metallic finish to it, but the shade is really pretty and really wearable. So I have to give it to that. It's not like super duper metallic-y, but it's really pretty. Um, let's go ahead and see how much this one retails for. This one retails for $12. Her stuff is really affordable, like super affordable. I really love their eyeshadows and their blushes. I need to go check out their site again. Oh, also, you guys, check out their eyeliners. Their eyeliners are amazing. I use their, I've been using the brown one for so long and their nude colored one is great too. All right, so last but not least, we have a product from Dr. Brandt. This is the Needles No More, No More Baggage. So it's an eye depuffing gel right here. I have gotten these quite a bit, but I've never really tried it out. I need to try this product out because I have a few of them. So I need to check this one out. This retails for $42, so it says, whether you've stayed up all night preparing for that presentation at work, cramming for that exam, or simply binge watching your favorite show, totally me, or dealing with a newborn. <laughs> um, sometimes it's impossible to get in all the recommended hours of sleep, but that doesn't mean you should be forced to face your day with under eye bags. Oh my God, yes. I need to try this out, it's a deep puffing gel. I definitely have darkness underneath my eyes. I noticed that when I was doing my makeup today and I slept really well last night. Riley actually slept from 9.30 to 2.30, nursed and then slept until seven. I know, crazy you guys. And it was awesome, but I still have like really dark circles underneath there and I never used to have those before. So I definitely wanna try this out and I'll let you guys know how it is. I'm actually gonna set this aside so that way I can make sure to go put that in my bathroom and definitely use that and keep you guys updated like on Instagram or something. But that's awesome right there. So. Those were all the products that I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Let me know in the comments down below what you got in your Glam Bag Plus because I know there's a larger amount of products that they pull from. So some boxes are different than others. So definitely let me know in the comments down below what you got. But can I just say this blush palette definitely made this a thumbs up for me. Like it definitely made it worth it. I also really love the highlighter and the brushes. And I'm a little iffy on this to be honest right here because I'm just not the biggest fan of metallic finishes so that one I'm a little iffy on and then I'm also finally going to be trying this guy out because I need to try him out I need to puff these eyes so that's my bag I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing I can't wait to do next month's I'm gonna try to see if I can get it early if not I'm just gonna really keep an eye out for when it comes to my door so that way I can get it up as soon as possible for you guys. Also, I'm definitely gonna be trying to get my glam bag up earlier too. I just have to get the product sent to me earlier because I can't go up to LA to go get them. I have to have them mail it to me because of Riley, so it just makes it a little bit harder right now. But I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And also make sure to go enter my huge holiday giveaway that went up on Friday. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram for the huge holiday giveaway that I'm having over on my Instagram alone. So definitely go check those out. Good luck to everyone with those giveaways. And I will see you in my next video.